Good evening, everyone. It's Angry Tear to Life. We are back with some Fallout 76 and my great, fully satisfying auto axe build. All chainsaw. So the both both weapons work the same. So, one touch kill, one touch kill build for you will be used today. The one that I published during the week. That's the one I'm using. And as well, the public test server is live. You probably noticed my first video. I will keep you updated about more stuff, but not today. Uh, today we focus on the live game version, but later on, yes, I will cover more amazing changes on public test server as there is more. Even though they didn't publish any patch notes for us, there is more changes and there are supposed to be quests, but those will come next week. And who do I welcome in the chat? Bonewater, Crook Dog, it's Angie, Gunting, Flexix, Dunks, Mookie Wilson, Monkey Nut, Sia, EUSJB, Jamie McCarthy, Nathaniel Morin, uh, Sean Bagwell, Johans, TFE Archive, and that's everyone for now. Oh, there is Frodo Baggins joining. Hello. How are you doing? How is your weekend? I hope you are doing great. Yes, I, I'm awesome. I met my turtle friend in Fallout 76. I met Ogua. And I'm really happy they're adding it. I'm a little bit disappointed that he's not bigger. That's my only disappointment. I was hoping it will be way bigger, but it is not. They promised us five grown men and I don't know where did they found those grown men that like two feet tall. That's that's a mystery for me. Two feet tall grown men. That, that's a new. That's a new. Okay, followed. Uh, we are we are tuning in. Nice to see you too, everyone who's in the chat now. Happy to see you. Hello there, Miroslav. And everyone else, welcome. Good evening. It's 6 p.m. my time, so yeah, it is evening here. It's not necessary evening where you are, but it is definitely evening in here. What's free? I'm so low on atoms. Only 400 atoms left. Okay. Adventure it is. Oh, Professor OG. Thank you a lot for 10 bucks. Appreciate that. And message from the professor is, thanks for what you do. I'm just getting back to 76 and I'm lost. I quit after lunch, but I've been playing for a month now, but you've been helping me a lot. Cheers from New California, Los Angeles. Thank you a lot. I'm happy to help. I hope you have good life in the city of angels. All right. Oh, why do I have gold bullion? For oh, because I claim a free gold bullion. Stay on this word. Remove the pop-up. Oh, I'm close to the gold bullion. Cap. Oh, there's a drone. Oh. Wait. And disarmed. I missed one. Where are you hiding? That's the beauty of this build. You just touch them and they are dead. The touch of death. Oh, I'm not even on a team yet. I'm uh, missing some of the damage, starting from exploration, so you always know it's me. I'm the only one who's rocking exploration team. So if you see exploration team around, you can be suspicious that I'm there. Oh, did did blood, eagle, blood eagles actually shoot it down? There is no other player next to the pod. Oh wow. <laughs> Did Blood Eagles manage to shoot down the cargo bot? The cargo bot should be protected by vertibirds. I mean vertibirds. Protection must have failed. <laughs> Looks like Blood Eagles got it. 
Okay, they did some job for me. That, I'm happy. I'm happy about it. We'll see what are the dailies. We have team already full. Oh, team CS Medic, it's 1 p.m. for you. So you are definitely different time zone than me. Challenges for today. Build anything, workshop or camp. Next, complete daily op. Complete event while wearing a costume. I don't want it, I'm in power armor. Reroll. Complete an event in the ash heap. Okay, that's easier. Kill death glow, kill super mutant, scrap chunk to produce fiberglass, use photo mode to take photo in Camden Park. Okay, that's good. I don't want to build anything. Reroll. Okay. Even worse, now I need to build in a shelter. Come on, Bethesda, I don't want to build anything to give me building in a shelter. That's the worst one. I do not like it, but what can I do? I'm going to build in my shelter now. Uh, what? Hey. <laughs> Evil turtle. When he heard the sound of auto axe, it was too late to react. Oh yeah, wait, wait with buying auto axe plan. They are fixing the prices with next update. Don't buy it now. Uh, attack damage, attack speed doesn't work currently on automatic melee. No, uh, buying weapons with real money is against terms and conditions. Oh, I'm not supposed to fast travel. So do it on your own risk. You can get banned for that. The question, can they prove that you did it? That's that's a different story, but it is against terms and conditions. How you get pre premium rerolls? You buy them from Atom Shop or claim them from Scoreboard. Hello there, mutants. I'm sorry. Sorry if I bump into you, super mutant. I'm really sorry. Really sorry about that. I'm really sorry about that. Excuse me. Excuse me. Coming true. Excuse me. Coming true. Coming true. Excuse me. Oh, run out of AP. Okay, coming true. Nice, all cleaned. Nice and tidy. Oh, what are you doing here? I will pick up all those spare weapons. I can sell for caps. I like how super mutants fall apart if no one loots them for a while. Then there is a nice collection <laughs> of free stuff on the ground. Oh. Laser rifles lying around. Hunting rifles. I don't need a grenade. Full set of everything. Wow. And mini nukes? I, I used to just ignore mini nukes in the past, but since they change everything with ammo box. I can store unlimited mini nukes. I no longer ignore those. I, I take all the mini nukes. Oh, there is more weapons. Any more weapons for me? Plasma cartridges. More stuff. Okay. Oh. Did I forgot about you. Now we have everything, and I was about the shelter, shelter quest.
Thank you a lot. Sinful dreams. Welcome, George. Yeah, so Union Power Armor, Auto Axe and stuff like that will be possible to actually obtain with next patch when the prices will get fixed. So just save your stamps, wait for next update. It's still not cheap. You will not get it super cheap, but cheaper than now, so possible. Oh, Jules, you are our member for two years today. Awesome. Thank you for your support. And the message from Jules is love all your content, Mr. T. Thank you a lot, Jules. Okay, what am I building here? Walls? Floors? What am I building? Walls. Okay. Walls. Half walls, because those are faster to do in a shelter. How many do I need to build? Ten. Yeah, I really don't like those. Got it? Now destroy. Those are like one of the most stupid challenges. I understand a little bit the workshop ones, but camp ones? Oh, come on. Camp ones and shelter ones, those are kind of redundant a little bit. Next. Uh, we need to kill this death claw, do some daily op, sell stuff. Okay, let's go. Oh, Paladin Mike, thank you a lot for joining Territor's army. Welcome and may the shell be with you. Thank you for your support, Paladin Mike. Yes, there, there was no changes into legendary effects with last patch. Those are descriptions only. Even if descriptions are not accurate, every effect still works exactly the same. All that change, descriptions. Everything works the same. If you feel that it works different, it's just the feeling. It's not, not a thing. Okay, we trade here. Come with <laughs> Okay. Now we are getting caps. Give me caps. Oh, I don't want to sell junk. Just the weapons. I will keep cryogenic. All this stuff goes. Oh, some of those weapons are almost broken. So I'm not getting a good caps. Oh, did I pick up enough weapons for almost all the caps? Nice. Almost all the caps. Oh, let's check if there is any good food for carnivores. Quite often people sell carnivore food. Then I can uh, buy it. Oh, some salt quantums. Uh, new some meat already spoiled. Uh, those are rats one. Oh, yeah, okay, meat. But wait, okay, I want it. We good. And uh, now aid. And overload that I don't need. Don't need that. Oh, it's already too many. Look at that. I grabbed all the caps. All the caps in one run. That's good. Uh, there was a tent. What happened with the tent? Someone took out the tent. 
Oh, there you take out the tent. I'll need to place mine. I want to store the scrap. Let's go to regular storage. Okay. And cooking. Did somebody know if New Calantra also come back? Oh, I, I'm not sure. I wasn't searching for that yet. Uh, definitely Cold Shoulder will be available for stamps. I saw that. I don't remember about New Calancher. And ham chips. Yaguay yeah, ribs. Okay. That's done. Let's do this daily op, I think. Yeah, let's do the daily op. Hello there. Everyone ready to try the daily up? Double decryption. Mutations. Swift Stalker, cloaking ability and extra fast. That that my least favorite. They hiding well, but as they fix very mentats, maybe it will not be so bad. And thank you a lot for joining the live stream and dropping a like. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, let's make sure I have some of the food. Those ribs. Wolf ribs. I need more steep pepper blossom tea soon. Smoke scorch be slang. Okay, I'm good. Do we have any popcorn left? No popcorn? I ate all my popcorn. Okay, but that that's okay. Oh, bear man, that's. I should have some. I do have some. Ready, go! Come in, team. Where are you? Enemies, reveal yourself. Oh, I see something. Killed. The experiment that doesn't really work very well, but... Where are the red dots? Where are you? Oh, there is one. Surprisingly, Berryment that works on the characters that you cannot attack. Does it work on those that I supposed to? They do have a little bit of red underline. So that's not too bad. Oh, someone died. What has happened? You okay? Where are the enemies? I see you. Okay, so targeting HUD uh, seems to be a better use case. It's at least that works sometimes. The Berimentats doesn't look like I'm getting any benefits of those. Not getting any benefits of my Berimentats. Where are you, robots? Where? Oh. See how easy it is to miss? Which one is it? Oh, there. Get them. We got it? Oh, it's lower level. Wait. Wrong level. We're too high. It's there. Lower. Ah. This way. Got it. Hello, Balky. Yeah, I'm really good. I'm waiting impatiently for the next update. Uh oh. This guy, he was really angry. He burst me down. 
Paddled. Thank you. Yep, no one here. Where are enemies? I see something up here. Where are you? There you are. The players do glow, enemies do not. <laughs> Auto axe chainsaw and there's an action. Okay, code carrier. You got it. I will wait for more enemies here. Yeah, the bayment that's work generally, they just do not work on invisible enemies. I don't know why, they, they should. Or maybe it's because those are robots, maybe they no longer work on robots. Oh, wow. That was some angry robot. God sees her old UP winter rifle, yeah. It's decryption, so those enemies are all well armed. Oh, final code. Is there? Is there? Here, look at that action! Chase auto axe, that was quick. That was really quick. Oh, I heard some script. Awesome. Good job, everyone. Congratulations. I need to spend my gold bullion. I am overflowing. Oh, Brian, thank you a lot for free bucks. Appreciate that. Uh, Brian Red Fern. Brian from Australia. That's the message. Thank you a lot, Brian from Australia. I appreciate the free bucks. Uh, what do I want? Anti armor shish kebab. I mean, it's a cool weapon, but not the most powerful. And Vault 94 jumpsuit. When will I finally get my arms paint? It's so miserable to unlock this paint. And they cut it into pieces. So no one can get full set. Oh, if something is already installed, it won't glow, yeah. I don't like it. Bearman that should glow, especially invisible enemies. That's the point for me. Oh, no scrap. Okay, we need some rats, so I will eat more food. The brain. The liver. Cooked. Soft shell. Death glow steak. Glowing meat steak. Galper food. Oh, I already. Okay, I eat two of the same effect, so they override. That's bad. And hound chops, and we have a Nerdridge activated. Now I need to kill a Death Glow. So I will go and kill two. That's better than one. Two death close at abandoned waste dump. Hello, Mr. Rancid. And Summer Sherry. There are two death close in this location. And some Yao Guai meat if you need it. So that's a good location for carnivores, you see? This Yao Guai has a meat. Sometimes they have been. Yeah, there is egg. I knew it. 
there is egg. I'm not sure if there is other egg. Sometimes it can be two eggs. I don't want Brahmin. Oh, Deathclaw egg in the nest. So I have two. Deathclaw eggs are rare and they are used for the best strength buff. So you need those eggs. And they do not spoil. That's a good news. If you collect those eggs, they do not spoil. You can keep them for later. Even if you don't need any buff. The buff itself, when you craft it, it will start spoiling, but you can keep eggs forever. Hello, Death Close, where are you? Should be two Death Close here. Hello. Oh, I got staggered. Hello. Okay, that that's it. That's the Death Close fight for you. I know. Not so scary, aren't they? The Death Close used to be so scary. I remember my encounter in Fallout 4 and previous Fallouts. It wasn't so scary already in Fallout 4. Uh, the thing was you encounter it early in Fallout 4, what was making this fight feel really tough. Will there be more eggs? Uh, where are those nests? Oh, look at that, there is an egg. I'm lucky today. Got three eggs from this one location. And not everyone likes that, but I like this aspect of Fallout 76 that we have so many powerful buffs that requires gathering of some ingredients and then you can use all of it to boost your damage. I, I enjoy that. I enjoy collecting ingredients for that purpose. Is that the nest I already visited? I'm always lost in this location. I know that there, there are three nests. Uh, I'm walking in circle. Was there another one? Never mind. I found one nest. I killed Death Close, so that counts. Ash Heap event. Photo mode in Candem Park. Ash Heap event. There we go. Bots on parade. Oh, Chris, you've only been able to get arms paint and jetpack paint. And the arms paint is the only one that I'm missing. And some people reported that they got arm paint like four times. And Bethesda, of course, decided to make it untradeable. So I cannot get arms from people that got it multiple times. And I did get duplicates for my other paints that I already know. So that's a problem. And I still need to use the wrong arms then. Okay, robots. Show yourself. Robots show themselves. Now, enemies, show yourself. Oh, AP regen buff is awesome. The simple T to regenerate a lot of AP. And then there's company T to regenerate even more. Maybe I should craft some bigger batch of company T one day. Do I have some or did I store uh, the honey camp? I have only honey. Okay, so I cannot craft. That's okay. Oh. What you doing? Okay. They're coming. Embrace yourself. I'm running to defend those enclave robots. Stop right there. Okay, I got you. Where are the hostiles? See ya. <laughs> this build is so fun. So evil and destructive. You just 
run through your enemies, assuming you can. When there is a lot of commanders, I, I don't, because I'm not faster than bullets. That's the only downside. I'm really fast, but I'm not faster than bullets. So when I'm on melee build and there is a bunch of commandos, I cannot really run fast enough to get to enemies before they get killed. How much health I have at this moment? Low, only 400, but that's, that's good for everyday use case. For PvP, way too low. My arms match enough. That's good, but it should be a full set. And clearly it is not. But my auto axe is red, so... It's a little bit matching. It's not too bad. Oh. Give me your stuff. Yeah, the crazy auto axe arm guy on the case. Here we go. <laughs> All dead. I like this weapon. It's just too satisfying to use. complete now we need to find enemies so let me sprint around and try to find them where are you oh i see some i like the highlights i think that's my favorite helmet mod I cannot turn fast enough got them i think all of them did i miss any no i got them all Targeting hut is the most useful, especially at night, when those small miners are not so visible. Hi, Kraken Jacket. Silence those bots. We don't need them anymore. They can drop some resources. That's a bonus. After you're done with this event, you can get bots too. <laughs> I got all the dailies done? No. Fiberglass, photo mode in Candem Park. So I can go to the park. I don't even need to fast travel. Basically next to the park. I prefer when they ask me to use the camera. It's photo mode. Do the photo. Camera you can switch to not do the photo. Like it's night. I will not have nice photo anyway. Am I deep enough? Probably. Then. Oh, I supposed to spend some gold bullion. Let's go spend some gold bullion. Oh, after this, the super quick daily. This is like free daily, so I will do it. Come on. Come on, Zach. Oh, I was thinking it's faster. Finally. Done. Done. Thank you very much. Spent some gold bullion. Do I still need any plans from him? I'm not sure. Samuel?
yeah, you can buy the bulk from vendor, but usually I pick up so much stuff that if I play for several hours, I don't focus on the scrapping part as it just comes by itself. No, we don't get the same daily challenges. Every day is different challenge. Okay, Samuel. Oh, not interact. Trade. Oh. I finished his plans. Surprise! I finished Samuel's plans. So let's see which plans now. Did I finish all the crater plans? Let me check. Let's check the core crater if I have all the plans in there. Do I have all your plans? Yes. Do I have all his plans? The plans left? It's Vault 79. Let's see how many left. I'm just buying from the list one by one. I I'm not choosing anymore. So I have so many plans for Gold Bullion that my goal is to basically complete the collection. Get every single plan. I hear a Scorch Beast. Oh, there is a legendary Scorch Beast. Legendary Scorch Beast. Yeah, where's my crippling shaker? Come in here. Come over. That will land her. Okay, where are you landing? Come on. There, okay. Coming. Thank you for getting closer. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> that was quick. Now to the Vault 79. And that's a Vampire Auto Axe. So I could go a little bit higher with damage. I uh, don't need to. Vampire is more important. At, the, at some point, when you do as much damage, vampire effect way more use, useful. Yeah, I think treasury not cap, cap at 5000, but I never reached the cap. I'm actually low on treasure notes. Okay, let's start buying. What can I buy? Let's complete my collection. Let's complete some more plans. I'm pretty sure I did purchase those Crusader pistol plans in the past. I don't know why I do. I need to buy them again. Is it a bug? I'm not sure. That's as much as I can buy. Plans. Secret service. Well, those plans are here. I'm pretty sure I learned them in the past. So I don't know why I can learn them again. I have nothing else to do with this gold bullion. That's how you buy gold bullion plants. Awesome. How many left? There is still a bunch left. Isn't it? Some bunch of secret service, but cheap ones. And then T65, and that's it. Okay, so that's not too many. Before next update, I should have all of it. Does look like it. I will have all of it. Not much left. I just must purchase a lot of plants. Now the gold exchange machine. 
Don't know why there is no machine to action treasure nodes at Secret Service HQ. Oh, rascal, you added Solipsista in your name on YouTube. <laughs> you are too afraid, I'm too confused. Now I will not make a mistake anymore. <laughs> Forty. Oh, not Namluk. For no, not for. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be faster typing, not way slower. <laughs> Mistyping amounts. And then we can spend caps on more gold bullion. You, you already have all the plans, Rascal? Nice. I could probably have them already, but I, I was not trying hard enough. I was buying a lot of lunch boxes, bubble gum, carry weight boosters with my gold bullion instead of plans. If I would focus on plans, I would probably have them all by now, but I didn't. Hey, Smiley. What? I already bought from you this week? Or maybe? Maybe I did. It does not have any for me. Okay, so I will loot your place. All looted. Are you selling anything good? No, you never do. So now I have one fiberglass only left. So that Colossus event will give me lots of fiberglass if I want to. And some other things. Okay. Uh, what I will do now... Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to claim a workshop and see how many resources I can build. They were adding so many resource machines. How many resource machines can you squeeze on one workshop? And can I, like that's my question, can I squeeze all the resources on one blueprint? That's what I want to figure out. That's my favorite workshop because it's small. And you don't need to search for enemies half an hour. They all just on the middle. And now there is no enemies. Someone was here putting chairs. There is a bunch of chairs. Are chairs a floor decoration? Or, or is there a challenge to build chairs? <laughs> Maybe there is. Oh yeah, the camp chef sells good the carnivore buffs too. Yeah, that's true. And the new coward sells good carnivore buffs. New, ca new coward vendor. Okay. I will redo one of my blueprints, existing ones. I want a better. I have problems with placing some of my blueprints. Uh, which one do I want? Uh, Workshop Santa. This blueprint, I want to redo it. I want to make it better. Especially that... Will it... No, you see? I have this bag with this blueprint. It usually eventually plays. Oh. I don't know why it's putting so much resistance. Oh, I don't need to go there to rebuild it. I keep forgetting it's no longer attached to your character. <laughs> Alright, uh, I don't want Santa, I want different Collectrum. In use, cannot modify. Uh, I want to keep those items for sure. Let me remove whatever can be causing this conflict. 
and we rebuild. Those items go out for now. I don't know what's causing problem. What did I scrap? Oh, now the mat. The mat's supposed to be there. Okay, so we have coffee machine and stuff like that. I uh, will just build a lot around. Oh, one more thing I wanted to test. How much can I protect? Uh, that's new. Okay, no, that's not interesting. How much can I protect with those big western posters? Those are really low on camp budget and build cost and take lots of space. Is that Wall? No, that's probably a floor decor piece. Where are those western walls? This huge western... There. This. How much can it protect? Well, that's quite a lot. I will build as a wall. Okay. On outside western world. From the top I will see better what I'm doing. Relocate slightly. Okay. Put those walls. Can I squeeze in the middle all the all the resource collectors? Oh, it's longer than the foundation here. Put it tight. That's okay. This little hole will be okay. All right, no, that's not straight at all. That's about right. How much space did I earn on the inside and can I blueprint it? That's something is bent. Oh, I placed it wrong. Ah. Let's, let's start from this one and place it on the middle. That will be more straight. Is that... I cannot see if that's the middle. Let's put it there, then move it forward. Is that the middle? No. That's the middle? That's about the middle? about now this one goes closer oh, something like it's not quite straight but it's hard to place those straight so bad there is no snapping for those pieces it's not very straight okay let's try like that and now the last one. Okay, not too bad. That's almost look straight. Okay. And if I remove the extra foundations on outside. What? No! Okay. Remove foundation first, then build it. Somehow removing a foundation removes the whole western thing. Ah, my bad. Why I cannot remove it? Oh, now I can. Okay. All over again. Supposed to be cool western box for resource production at <laughs> workshop. Cool western box. That will go to stored. Yes, it's in the stored. Still way easier than we are used to in the past. Uh, oh, it cannot go farther because there's... Okay, need to fully stand on the foundation. So without those extra foundations, I need to put it tighter. Oh, come on. Okay. And... Oh, and now that's a problem. Okay, now we have a problem. So I need to add those two foundations. 
I cannot remove them. I can do halves or full. For the blueprint cost is probably the same, so I need to add those foundations after all. Come on. And I really should use like a plantable ones. If I'm putting foundations, plantable ones are more useful on blueprint. Uh, different plantable ones? Wait. What? No, that's not. I don't think so. Wow, there is so many colors. <laughs> I didn't realize there is so many colors. When did I purchase all of this stuff? That's crazy. Way too many colors. Okay. It doesn't matter which way it goes. I will change other ones to plant plantable too. How do you change? Uh, change. Replace R and T R T E. Okay, that's that's how you do it. R T E R T E R T E R oh R T E what R T E R T E R T E. What did I play? I press wrong button. I ate a foundation. I'm so terrible builder. How did I ate a foundation? Okay. Yeah, I know they're not in the same order. I don't know if I can replace it. I will have complaints about it. Okay, at least we need to at least switch this one over. So there will be no complaints if this will go this way. Okay, you see, now it's a pattern. Okay, now it's a pattern. Please do not complain. Oh, this one is backwards, yeah. Sorry. Fixing. Okay, this one is fixed. And last one. I don't see from this side. Almost straight? Or should I leave a gap a little bit? Small gap. Oh, a test of du durability test. Go up. Durability test for the walls. Oh, they are able to somehow shoot a little bit from the middle. I don't like that. Should I add? No, I don't want to add. They will not shoot much from the middle, I think. Whoa. Okay. Western walls are holding. The foundations are undestructible, so those cannot be destroyed. The walls are taking some damage, but they can they can put some resistance, I see. Look at that. The super mutant need to shoot and shoot in those walls. Someone kill those super mutants. Hey, I want to save empty one first, so we remove that for now. Oh no, not that! Ah wrong button! Always happens to me. No. Okay. Fix it. That's straight. Almost. That almost straight. Almost straight. Okay. Empty box. That's first blueprint. Hold for blueprint. We'll see if that will work at all. Hold for blueprint. Grow selection. Okay, that do not take too much. Is it all selected? I think it is. Let's let's now save. Create blueprint. And those are broken, so we reuse those. 
Override. Yes. And rename to Empty Box. Empty Box. Now, let's verify if Blueprint works. That is always important. Where is Empty Box? There. Empty Box. Let's verify if Blueprint works. Empty Box. Works! I can place more of those empty boxes now. They do work, then I can test different blueprints on them. <laughs> if I want to. Look at that! <laughs> the best workshop ever. Okay, I don't need those super mutants anymore. They tested and those murals are quite, quite resilient. And do not take much uh, blueprint space. That's the important factor. Okay, super muties. Goodbye. Oh, the doggo. Excuse me. Where are they? There is one. Any more? I deal with you. Uh, there should be more somewhere, but never, nevertheless. We have some progress. Camp building with turtle today, guys. We hope you enjoy that. That's unusual activity, but I want to test this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Want to mess around a little bit with those those new new things. And I'm pretty sure I could I could leave gaps as well. How that would look like? I, I let's redo one box. If I would leave gaps and put all those on the middle of address, is the cactus on, exactly on the middle? No, it's not exactly on the middle. I don't think so. Or maybe it is. It's almost on the middle. It needs to be a little bit to the left. I would place it to save as much space as possible without overstretching. I don't want it to hang outside too much. Okay. Like that. If I move it, is that on the edge? I'm not sure. Uh, let's store those for now. S store sides. Come on. Let's put it close to edge. Is, is it about right? Okay. And put the sides now. It will be a little bit of a gap. I don't know if not too much if I do it this way. Unfortunately, those posters are not exactly the size of the foundations. It's not a huge gap. Will the Super Mutants be able to, like, shoot through those gaps? About straight. It's not... Uh, almost. Okay. It's a little bit of a spacing, but it's really tough to shoot through it into anything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's still safe on the inside for most part. Maybe the corners themselves will, will not be safe if I place something, but I will not be squeezing stuff into the corner, so maybe that's good. Okay, let me silent the super mutant. Where is... Where are you? Oh, there. Is that it? Oh, there is more coming. Come on. No interruptions, please. I'm working here. Construction in process. That's another two waves? Come on. How many boxes <laughs> what they do <to> need? <laughs> I 
I can create build, but I cannot build. That's true. <laughs> like camouflage in the valley center, yeah. <laughs> oh, someone activated encrypted. I need to go there. So I will be back here in a second. So visit encrypted. Let's go for encrypted. Quick encrypted and we are back. We are back to box game. After encrypted. We kill the boss and then we can build. Now I'm in two events. Okay, the robot approaches. I don't really have a proper buffs on me, but I should have something. Yeah, I do have vodka for extra max HP. That's 75. And I can use psycho buff. That, that should keep me alive. That gives me total of 500 health. That should keep me alive. Hello, robots. Okay, is it time? 10 seconds. 10 seconds, I'm getting ready. Pop one coffee so I can run. Did it work? Oh. I think it bag out. So I took it twice. Another one. And last one. Oh, is that. Oh, this one is taken. We got it. Oh, that was quick. Let me find some robots for a grand finale. I don't know what's happening. Explosions everywhere. Oh, there are two robots behind me. They pop two robots. Give me free stuff. Oh, there was a vampire shotgun. Oh, wow, it's a perfect vampire roll. The problem is it's a double barrel. It's a perfect roll. Can you see that? It's a vampire who let explode less AP cost. The only problem is regular double barrel. Cold shoulder is still better. But healing from that, insane. can get two shots real quick. Back to this. No, uh, to get carnivore, if you are herbivore, you need to get rid of herbivore first. So it is rather expensive on the serums, as you cannot selectively remove one. Okay. I already took it. Now, can I squeeze all the resource generation in one camp? I don't know if I will be putting any ceiling on that. I could, but can I place racks on that? Floor decor. Floor decor, huge rags. Where are those huge rags? I forgot where those were. Huge rags. Look how many items is here. Hmm. My blind where are the huge rags? 
Those are not the huge rags. The huge rags are brotherhood rags. Oh, enclave, not the brotherhood, enclave one. Can you put it? Oh, you cannot put it on that. Oh, why not? That was my plan to put it on top. Maybe it's already too high. Maybe that's why. It's normally you can place it on stuff. You could place even between those two. Doesn't place on that. Oh, it does? This one is too high. Was oh this was was green. Was green on the middle. Oh. Okay, the, the ceiling will not work this way. No, it's not even big enough. No, that's that's not an option. Okay, resource. Oh, miscellaneous structure first. Uh, where is the rag? There. Fast travel spawn point. You always want to spawn inside if possible. So let's try to put it on the middle. Welcome. Now. No stash boxes. Stash boxes need to be placed separately. They break a uh, blueprint. Resources. Oh, that requires corn, if I want chickens. Brahmin milk. Where we put the Brahmin milk machine. How do I start it? From the right, just start placing stuff. I can always move it. And the tree. Next to the Brahmin milk machine. Uh, this one. And coffee on top. I'm not sure if I should put anything on top. No. Everything flat. Can break the blueprint. I forgot. Everything flat. Nothing on top of each other. Nothing on top of each other. Oh, that's huge. That's on the behind. Can I squeeze it here? Oh, it cannot fit on the side. Oh, it can be on this side. Good. So you put it on the side. The well, oh, the well cannot be placed. The well need to go into the ground. Oh, the well need to go into the ground. Can it be put on the foundation on behind? No. Can it be somehow attached? Will it blueprint together if I attach it? it? Can possibly break the blueprint, so I don't know. It will try. I will do one blueprint with it, one without. Uh, those are resource producers. That's not okay. Fertilizer. It's not a very important one. We put it on the back side. Nuka machine. Nuka cola. Then uh, we need. Oh, the Brahmin. I need razor grain. I want the Brahmin too. Collectron of which type? What is the most universal one? As I noticed recently I cannot switch in the computer on the workshop what it's collecting. Drill with hack and slash card with demolition. Oh yeah, I imagine that's good, but I, I don't need it. The VATS is kind of gimmicky with automatic melee, especially with auto access and chainsaws, and those are doing the most damage. Fastnach Collectron, Boss Collectron, 
Gold Boot. New Cola Standard. Red Racket. Fetch. Silver Collection. Junkyard Dog. Quantum. Should I go with Quantum? Collection? Or which one? Which one do you think is the best? Oh, Jairus, thank you a lot for 20 bucks, Jairus, appreciate that. And Jairus is saying, how does the Brahmin milk machine store all that milk when my red racket cooler doesn't work as well as a salty backpack? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's a magic. It's a magic happening there. It's some true magic happening. That's for sure. Okay, so I put collection. It need a little bit space in front, or there will be a problem. So maybe like here. No, it needs more space. Uh, yeah, I put it like in here. Oh, okay, that works. It's an ammo exchange, so that's not okay. The candy, the candy machine. Uh, not this one, this one is bugged. Wood. Put it farther, maybe? I need more space. Not sure if I will be able to squeeze everything. For now, here. Is there a oh. I have it all? Did I miss any? Any resource production? I need stuff for the Brahmin. That's the ammo exchange machine. I don't know if I should have it in the camp. That's not really resource producing stuff. Or is it? No, it is. It is converter. Can I place ammo? No, I cannot place ammo producing machine in the workshop. So no, I don't want converter. I need some corn and... I'm not even sure if I need core. I need razor grain for to try to place the Brahmin. And there was a nuke coming somewhere. Oh, okay. Col Colossus. So I have time. I have time. Let me activate this camp. And I should put one vending machine inside. Dog is good for good mix of scrap. But is dog collecting anything useful. The scrap alone I don't need. There is simple solution for fast travel mats in camps. Give us two options when fast traveling to the camp. Fast travel to the map or standard fast travel. Standard fast travel as default and fast travel to the map is an option, the same as we can fast travel into interiors. And problem solved. That's how I see it. Exit for a moment so I can store this. So I can put this core here. Oh, it's still not there. Okay. Core. When you store power armor, core jumps into your inventory that's in power armor. So then I can use fresh. Ramin, give me milk. Thank you. Now the razor grain. And corn. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, I wanted the vending machine. Can I squeeze the vending machine? Vendors. Vendors. The little one, maybe. The big one is... Can I even squeeze it? Oh, I have budget. Okay, that can be that one then. I didn't know I have budget. 
Just put it on the middle. If I don't plug in power, it will not be noisy. <laughs> That's fine. I don't want it to be noisy. Now my pie armor. Go to the workshop for one second to see if I can place a Brahmin on top and if blueprint will work. Or maybe I should do one blueprint without the Brahmin. I'm pretty sure Brahmin will be tricky to place. Okay, fast travel mat works. I spawn exactly what I supposed to. Uh, see this Brahmin. Resources, Brahmin. I don't think Brahmin will like to place on top. Okay. Pretty sure Brahmin cannot be placed like that. There have been some tricks to place the Brahmin, but I don't remember what was the trick. Can place on the foundation that's next to the ground and on the ground doesn't want to place on top maybe Brahmin will not place okay let's try to blueprint it how much blueprint place will it take grow structure oh am I getting still so much space that's not selected that's good we we'll try to select it later is everything selected does look like it. Okay. Create blueprint. And let's override that. That doesn't work, I'm pretty sure. Yes, and call it resource box. Resource box. And we try it in a different workshop after we move just started collecting stuff uh, why there is ammo oh, I cannot pick it up is there ammo or not oh ammo box I managed to pick up cool okay colossal problem before I would be late Oh, can I put it on the rack first? Maybe. Flying Mumus. <laughs> I can try on the rag. Running in. All right. Oh, it's opening. Liquid court. There is a liquid court. Here we go. Psycho buff. Ready. Ready for action. I'm running. Here we go. Melting Mr. Earl. I, I wish bats would work, but you see what's happening if you try to use bats. Rarely anything. We need to stop, exit, retry. Even in first person, it's rarely anything. Even my adrenaline. And he's melting real fast. Without going for bats. Why oh, I'm not hitting you? I think it's 
Sometimes it's a bug. You think you press the button, but it's not spinning. Here we go. 500 caps. Hello there, Wendigos. I'm running. Don't run away from me, Wendigo. Fight. Fight. Fight me. All dead. Uh, still some life one. Any more alive Wendigo? Oh, out of AP. Oh, my half is low. Need to hit something. So my half half opportunity to regenerate. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more over there. going <laughs> I like it crazy fun say hi to Wendigos now all dead now all dead wait where did you come from what staggered me A lot of fiberglass, but I don't know if those fiberglass spools count for the fiberglass scrapping challenge. If not, we can always use a vendor option to buy bulk. Okay, now all looted. Waiting to exit. Yeah, I did my daily op. And still didn't get a plan, as you can see. Still no arms. Oh, Ricky, you did get my thank you video. Thank I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Thank you for update. So it worked. I'm happy to hear that it worked. That's a new function on this new shop for my merch. So I'm happy to hear that it worked. And I think I only managed so far to sell one save the Brahmin shirt, but it's still worth it. <laughs> it's still worth it. One save the Brahmin shirt sold and i have one so so save the brahmin movement is growing okay let's scrap all this stuff of weapons some armor store oh composite ski is fiber that I don't need as many oh taking too much rats Brahmin milk for the rescue my new favorite right away Brahmin milk <laughs> How am I doing with this daily? Oh, just one more. And I will be done. Okay, let's claim another workshop. Which one? Maybe let's go all in, red racket. I rarely claim the red racket. Yes, Prince Julius, that 100% increase in the movement. <laughs> <laughs> it's fully worth it. Next, I think I need to start making videos on my uh, lifestyle channel that we are a derivors. 
I was thinking about. That would be cool. A lot of videos about being a carnivore or herbivore is popular. What about being a dairyvore? Why that's not popular? Brahmin milk for life. No enemies? Maybe I can just claim it. No, there are some enemies. I see the rat. Hello there. There are more enemies. Hello, all the rats from Red Racket, where are you? I don't have quest to claim it, that's not good. This quest is helpful, it will show you where the rats are. Now, I have a problem. To find rats myself. Let's blow up this cute little red car. Oh, you can't? Oh, you can, okay. That was a problem with my auto axe. Why is, does it show that I'm in conversation? I'm not in any type of conversation apart from YouTube. How does the game know that I'm talking with you on YouTube? And it says that I'm in conversation. That's some um, black magic. Okay, I don't know where the rat can be. That's why it was a bad idea to go to this workshop. Hello? You can just blow up all the cars and maybe rat is hiding underneath one of those cars and it will kill it. Okay, the fire truck cannot be blown. And still nothing. I don't know. That's my last idea. Maybe it's hiding here. No. I lost all the ideas. It was my last one. Yep. I don't think I can take it. That's what I don't like about workshop claiming. Okay. The oh, there is a rat. Came over. Was it? Was that the last one? Oh, that was the last one. Came over. Okay, good. So I got the red racket. Oh, fire extinguishers count too? For this crap? Let me grab some. They don't have fire extinguishers inside the toilets. But they should have somewhere. It's red racket. Where is the fire extinguisher? There is none. That's the garden gnome. Oh, ski sword. That will scrap. That will scrap good. Okay, let's see if my blueprint works. The moment of truth. Blueprints. Not the empty box. We want... Resource box. Item is floating. Which item causes that? No. Which item is breaking the blueprint? Oh, come on. I hate this message. It's all green. Item is floating. Which one is floating?
What is floating? Excuse me, what is floating? Which item? There is nothing floating on the inside. <sighs> Which item causes that? That's what is the worst. You never know which item causes that. Oh, wow. Yes, Union Power Armor will be cheaper from next update. They are fixing it finally. Is the empty box working? Yes. Maybe because I place the walls differently. Okay, let's build on this one. Put, put in all the resources on this one. This is a smaller box. Will that work? Okay. Will I be even able to squeeze in Collectron? That's a good question. Miscellaneous. Fast travel mat. Okay. Resources. Can put chickens now. Why there are two different chicken cube variants? Oh, I think one is Atom Shop. Okay. Mm. Let's go over it again. So of course I'm being attacked when I'm trying to build. Grammy milk. Maybe let's make more space for the tree. Or is the tree causing problems? Not even sure. I want the tree. For the resources. Uh, keeping more space for the tree. Then next to the tree I will put wood this time. That makes sense. Collection. Need to be kind of on the middle. Maybe it doesn't need to be exactly on the middle. Okay, it work. We'll put candies on this side this time around. Coffee. Honey. This fits on the side like last time. Fully on the foundation. Turbo third. Am I missing anything? Oh, uh, the big Coke bottle. Where should I place it? I think there. There would be fine. Will that fix anything or still not? Okay, let's try. Select. Grow selection. Everything selected. Create blueprint. Resource box need to be overridden. We'll see if that will work. And that's the biggest issue. To see if that will work, I need another workshop. Oh, there are four waves planned. I will not be doing four waves. I'm leaving. I'm leaving for another workshop. Easy one this time. I'm not. I'm not gonna look for single rat under the rock.
workshop. Where is the workshop? Here we are. Anyone in? Anyone home? No? Can I just claim it? Yes! Awesome. I like that. Okay, fingers crossed. Is blueprint working? Resource box. Why is it not placing? What's the problem? Why it's not showing green? The trees? There's too many. Oh. Item is floating. No! Which item is causing the bug? That's the worst. You'd never know which item is causing... How I figure it out now? That's the terrible experience with followed blueprints. There are items that cause a blueprint bug. You never know which one. Yo bets. Which one is causing Attention. the bug? Which item? Which item can be causing those bugs? Who knows? Which item? This ammo again. Why is this welcome mat spawning ammo boxes? One hundred five mil. Don't know what's going on with those ammo boxes here. What is causing the bug? The tree? Do you think that's the sap tree? No, worst place. So you bet it's a tree. All right. Blueprinting without the tree. Grow. Unselect the tree. Tree no longer selected. Create a blueprint. Resource box. Yes. Override. Move to the workshop. Spawns loose items from enemy decomposition, but there was no enemy on my rag. On my welcome mat. Oh, that's a wrong one. I placed the empty. No, not this one. Empty one place. This one. Okay. Where is the place without the trees where I can squeeze it in? Did I use the only space? Are you calling me? What? Hello? Oh, thank you. I actually already have one. I just need to scrap it. But thank you. No. Don't want to be on the inside. Destroy. 
Oh, I cannot destroy it in one go. No. Need to start one piece by piece. Oh, come on. And some ghoul. Uh, blueprints. Is there enough room now? Right, there is stuff everywhere. No. Need to destroy it, the whole thing. Faster. There is an event. The tree! We got the winner! It was the tree! You were right! The tree was bagging out. Oh, okay. I will not be late. That is most wanted and seismic activity. Oh, ghouls follow me. Go away, ghouls. Why did you follow? Oh, there was a freestyle legendary. Thank you for following me, ghouls. <laughs> With Mason freestyle legendary. Thanks for following. The tree was bugging out my blueprint. The Titan. The Titan's here and the Turtle's here. I'm running. Where is the Titan? Am I late? The event... Oh, no, it's the event is not over. Where are the crystals? Crystals done. Look how quickly he's melting with so many people around. He's already over melted. Go more miners, go! Wow, the explosions. I'm curious how long it will take Bethesda to give us any regulation over explosive effects. Those are some sometimes overboard. Couple people with auto access and all those shots. Look how fast. Then He's done. He's totally done. Give me all the stuff. I'm going shopping. And there we go. Fiberglass produced. Oh, I'm on time for I'm on time for the most wanted too. Cool. Howdy, partners. Where are my backeroos? Oh, Samantha, thank you a lot for five bucks. I appreciate that. And Samantha is saying, at Victorium. Thank you, Samantha, and may the shell be with you. 
And event is launching. Loot the save. Find the copy when the time arrives. All the backaroos. enough no how many of us is here it's probably enough tip is it there is a ghoul riding this horse okay everyone deposited will be good some golden golden bot on top and we good where is the golden bot not arriving yet it should be a golden bot at this time Was the golden bot already killed? Oh, wait. I see you. Change to first person so I can pick up bottle. Yeah, I got bottle. That's a lot of bakaroos for bottle being delivered. There you go, bottle. Remove 100 bakaroos. I found bottle. I didn't know bottle can just lie under here. First time I found bottle in this spot. I know there are limited spots, I'm still not familiar with all of them. I know that Cappy can be up here behind the bushes. I forgot which one, one of those bushes. I didn't know about the bottle. Yeah, duping items is not okay, it's against the term of service as well. So you can get banned for duping items. So even if you don't care about any possible consequences, you can get banned. And some people have been banned in the past for duping. I mean a lot of people to be honest. And usually, in my opinion, it's not worth risking your account to dupe an item. There is no such a value in an item to risk your account. Even if risk would be very small, I would not risk it this way. I have like 2500 hours on this account alone, so that's my main account. So that would be not the best idea for me. Okay, shish kebab, power attack damage. It's kind of good, but I don't need it. More at bed. Two star. I don't know what to do with this shotgun. It's like a perfect roll. I will drop it on the table. Maybe someone need it. Or someone just scrip it. I prefer if someone need it, but if someone takes it and scrip it. I just have no heart to script this item because this is a perfect vampire roll. On double barrel. So I made an egg on the table. Surprise egg. I made a surprise egg on the table myself as an alien. Aliens do lay eggs, so that's okay. That that's not unusual. Even if no one has gotten banned yet, Bethesda likes to ban in bulk. So I would 
I would not claim that if no one has gotten banned, no one will ever get banned for that. So people claim that, claim that in the past and they got banned with a lot of other people and there was a lot of crying on Reddit after that happened. So I would not assume it's okay if no one got banned so far. And yes, Bethesda do not do bans very often, but they do them. So it's it's not like you can be safe and you never get banned. There is no guarantees. Maybe we'll get away with that. Maybe we'll not. I don't wish a ban on anyone. I'm just telling you it is a possibility. Okay, maybe I wish a ban on cheaters in Nuclear Winter when they appeared. On those type of cheaters, I do wish a ban <laughs> when I was playing Nuclear Winter. Like shooting through walls and so on, that was not fun. Okay, let's resupply, resupply with my uh, Radio and Scorpion. Galper food. Nuka Dugs. Scorpion kebab. Yeah, my pastry. Yeah, those are my resupplies, and we give in exchange some of those items. Oh, two. Do I have something for two? I don't think so. That's good. I'm good. Yeah, there have been dupes in the past too. They've been out for... Some of the dupes have been out for two years. And then people got banned for those. And dupe have been patched. So, four months, I would say, in Bethesda standards, it's very short period of time. If something is up for two months, four months, that's short. And patching legacy weapons took four years. So, I, I'm not claiming that Bethesda is fast. I'm a turtle. Bethesda is a snail in fixing stuff. But they do that, and I appreciate that they do that. There is a lot of other games and developers that basically abandoned the problems and did nothing. And we are getting improvements. And I can say it because I tested PTS already, and there is more improvements coming. Some of them requested years ago, and they're coming, so they do that. Would I like it to be faster? Of course I would like it to be faster. Do I prefer those being done now over not ever? Of course I will take it now. Okay, what are we doing? Still need to do some of those collection of wood. Destroy robots with hammer, revolver, sword. No weapon equipped. That will be tough now since they fixed the grenades. Or maybe your grenades still count for that? I'm not sure. Kill wanted player, so I still need a bunch. And then it will be more? I'm not even sure. Repair pistols, repair power armor. Oh, Malifatu, thank you a lot for 119 money units. Thank you, I appreciate that. And the message is to Turtles and Oguas. PTS looks promising for next release, I think. And smiley heart eye faces. <laughs> thank you a lot, Malifatu. Yeah, it does look promising. A lot of good changes. Uh, we still don't know how good is the new quest line because this will is not yet working like the quests that have been promised are not working currently on pts they should be working next week so 
I cannot judge the value in quests as those are not working, but all other stuff looks great. More money you need in Kovic, yes, Rascal. <laughs> money you need. I recently spent some money you need to get a new keyboard. As my was my functioning, so now I have this beautiful... I don't know if I can show you. Can I? Wait a second. Can I move it without overstretching the cable? I, I want to show you my keyboard. It's so cool. It was expensive. But I'm using it for two days and it, it's working real well. Come on. Okay. Oh, can you see it? That's my keyboard. Steel series. It's so cool. And when you press the button, oh, don't focus on me, camera. Not on the banner. Keyboard. You press the button, it goes white. Oh, I don't think it's visible on the camera, you see? I, I like the setting, but I like green, as you can tell. And this keyboard have a regulation how deep you need to press the button for the keyboard to register the press. I, I really enjoy that. That's a really cool feature. So I can set it exactly how I want it to be. Okay, let me fix that stuff. So I can set it exactly how I want it to be. So there is no accidental presses as often, and it's fast. So that's cool. That's a really nice keyboard. I didn't test a lot of keyboards, but so far I would say it's better than Razer one I had before. I had Razer, Black Widow, and I killed it by pressing W button too hard, I think. W button died. I mean, did it completely die? But it was, sometimes it was working, sometimes it wasn't, and yeah, that was a problem. I just killed the W button on my previous keyboard. I press buttons too hard. I'm guilty as charged. I don't blame the keyboard for that. All right, what am I doing here? I have this workshop. Let's see if it's working. <laughs> that in paradise is safe. That makes my keyboard look like crap. That's it. I'm throwing it out. <laughs> yeah, it's still serious. I think it's Apex Pro. Or I, I don't remember exactly. Uh, let me check. I still have box somewhere. Uh. Yes. It says Apex Pro, Steel Series Apex Pro. That's what I'm using now. It's amazing. It's expensive keyboard. I'm not gonna lie. I was thinking for a moment if I should buy it, but then I was like, currently I do YouTube for living, so I justify the purchase of overpriced keyboard. I was like, I'm buying it. It's business expense now, so I'm buying overpriced keyboard. I didn't get it for free, but I did purchase it. Oh, wait. Where is... Okay, somehow I... Un <laughs> unchecked Collectron 2. No. Where's my Collectron? Okay, let's try to replace the Collectron and... Then make a blueprint. Hopefully Collectron will place. But I'm quite sure it was the tree, not the Collectron. So let's try to fix it and I need another... Workshop, Collectron. Where was it that I had this Collectron? Somewhere here, wasn't it? Okay. Okay, let's try again. Grow selection. Double check if Collectron is selected. What? I cannot... Is it selected or not? I'm not sure. Okay, it is selected now. Right, again. Create a blueprint. Resource box. Yes. Override. Save. And I think we are getting another nuke. 
Maybe I can quickly claim workshop, but I will not be able to place it most likely. Uh, I will try though. What I would like to see Bethesda change or add about Ogwa. Mm. Ogwa should be definitely bigger as it was promised. So it should be the size of a Scorch Beast or Scorch Beast Queen, in my opinion. And I would like to say tougher. Not everyone would like it because it is quite tough, if not the fact that 20 people is shooting at it at once. But I would like, or maybe keep the small ones as they are, but give us a proper end game. Five men tall. Ogwa boss, like a Scorchbeast Queen boss, Scorchbeast Queen size boss. That what I would like. And it should have no weak spots. Should be super tough. No weak spots. Just irregular spots and super tough on the shell side. And immunity to VATs. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, exactly. The shell. The shell should give VATS immunity. So that would be the only... No. Not start expedition. Trying to fast travel here. That should be the only monster immune to VATS. Yeah, it should definitely be a mega tank. It should be the most tanky monster in the game. With special abilities. I it probably has some special abilities. I just don't know them. Because it's dying too too quickly. And here we go. Go, oh, Scorchby Squid. Look, even, even Scorchby Squid dies so fast when there is everyone fighting her. See what's happening with Scorchby Squid? Like, she's getting... She's getting hammered. Look at that. Oh, she managed to jump. Follow. There's fire with 50 cal now. We're not going anywhere, Scorch with Queen. We will not be waiting for you to land again. Just shoot you down from the sky. I have my backup primed 50 cal. Oh, you are landing. Oh, you are you are trying to land. <laughs> backup 50 cal did it. Oh, come on, loot. Loot manually. Area button doesn't want to work. No more enemies. I think there is no more enemies. Oh. Legendary Scourge Beast. Collecting the meat. Um, Carnivores so of meat from all those scorched. It's really good. And finally, I want the way to remove helmets from the scrap tab. It's so bad that helmets cannot be legendary. Give me at least like a special star from power armor helmets. Like a different type of star. Something that gives it a star. It, it may be even doing like nothing. Just give it a star so it will not appear under scrapping. Give it a star. Helmet should have a star. Okay, uh, there is my workshop. Let's see if my blueprint works. Uh, 
Why did it spawn me so far away from my own workshop? Someone was building some defenses here before. So this workshop is heavily armed. Blueprints. Resource box. And it plays now. Is everything there? Yeah. Works. Everything in. Was there something here? No, I don't think so. That's all the resources. They all do place. And then I can just add... Oh. Have some idea. What if I... Blueprint the tree. Together with my stash boxes set up. And this way I will add it. Can I do it? So two blueprints set up. Where is the tree? There. That's the tree. Can I blueprint together? Blueprint. Will it work? I don't want to override the stash box. Let's do a new one and call it tree box. <laughs> tree box. <laughs> See if that will work. Uh, let's move. Which one? This one was without the tree. Uh, I'm just experimenting with workshop designs for resource generation. Okay, there is no tree. Now let's try to add it from the blueprint. Tree box. That's a solution! works this way so i can blueprint it together to place it then oh that's cool so i can blueprint stuff to then place even inside the empty box probably if i want to i can blueprint stuff can i just blueprint okay mm. well i have a bunch of And empty box, I think I will take the, this one with breaks on the sides. Uh, where do I have workshop with empty... I will override empty box with the big one, with small gaps. Yes, you can have all mutations for free. Thanks for posting the guide, Nerd in Paradise. It's actually quite easy. It doesn't take too much time. And as long as you have class freak, you have huge benefits from having all mutations. It's better to have selection of actually needed ones, but it costs a lot compared to getting all of them for free. Only a little bit of negatives. Oh, the Brahmin milk requires power. Did, does it require power? Did I forgot about... I forgot about the power. Okay, so my blueprint is not ready. I need to add generator. For the power purposes. And I don't even know which one is the best. Okay, this one is small. And should I add it lose or maybe i should add it to my stash boxes and have power on the stash box so it's area effect of power anyway for items like that 
a lot of power generators is too big and too expensive. Which is... Is that the cheapest one? Or... Wait, that's ceramic, copper, gear, rubber, steel. One, two, 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 four. Ceramic, copper, rubber, steel. Oh, that's... That's more copper, but no gear. This is kind of cheap and produce more power. That's probably the most efficient option. Okay, but for now, let me create a new blueprint. Is that the... Oh, that's a spacious one. Okay. So... We destroy everything inside here. I will keep fast travel mat. I just relocated for the empty box. Oh no, fast travel mat can be only one per workshop, so better without it. Okay. Grow, save, empty box, yes, save, that's the empty box, and now if I would like to place a box like that with a bunch of stuff, can I, can I do it? Let's say water farm, say I would like a water farm as a separate Can I like place a bunch of water generators and blueprint them? Including dirty water and clean water. Will they still place? Let's do the experiment. Two rows or three rows. You can always jump on top for collection. But just for fun, I know dirty water collection like that is not required. Okay. The vintage water cooler for purified water. Focus. Place a nice row of vintage water coolers. All those items do not require any power. It doesn't need to be exactly straight. Let me just put them in some kind of a way. Not sure how many I can fit in one blueprint. Would it even work? That would be a good solution. Breaking blueprints to then have easier time. Okay, let's try. Blueprint it. Can I grow selection? No, it will grow to the foundation now. Manually. works oh, no. don't uncheck it so blueprint have a limit but it look like that all fits okay save create a blueprint Water. Can I just build stuff like that? Okay, let's go into empty. Can I add water to that? Oh. 
I did the mistake and ran again. <laughs> Keep forgetting. Building Freaka mode, you don't need to run when you want to play stuff. Uh, this is smaller box, so remove that. No? Oh, I'm looking the wrong side. I'm <laughs> looking the wrong side. Blueprints. Water. Okay, so I have the wall of water purifiers and water producers. It's quite expensive, so I probably should have contractor. <laughs> I don't want to burn... Don't want to burn through all my resources like that. Kick the Nerdridge. Uh, put contractor on. Okay. Now. Will it place? Can I just snap it like at those foundations like nothing? That works! That works! You can have a bunch of stuff like that and just place it. Oh wow, so many opportunities now, so I don't need to bother with broken with broken stuff all the time, I don't need to include everything, I have, I can have a box separate and stuff inside separate. That works. Do some partial tests? What do you mean? I managed to place all those water purifiers in one go. Look how it how this blueprint works. It just plays whenever it's a flat it will not place on regular ground, but if I'm placing on foundations and I blueprinted on foundation. It work. It doesn't work on any other surface and I know oh. For a moment it was blue. May oh it can't even place if it's flat enough. Look at that. <laughs> so those blueprints work. Just manually blueprint stuff that is sitting next to each other and it will let you. don't know what else can be built like that. What else do we need? You can probably blueprint like that all the crafting stations. I would like to have a crafting stations. I probably can. Can I add additions to my box? Like have the main box and blueprint addition? Just add floors, blueprint the box, keep adding boxes, probably. Could probably do like segmented. Box plus, just the foundations. If I just blueprint the foundations, and call it box plus without one wall then i will be just destroying one wall and i can add it let's see uh, blueprint okay and more foundations here let's go from the bottom and where it will connect, where it will be the best place to connect straight to the side, I think, to the side. So we don't blueprint one of the sides. And there is a hole then. That's not the best, we'll, we'll patch it. First we place one and we'll see. Box extension or box plus I don't know how to empty box extension empty box 
extension. If I will have pre-made segments like that, that would make stuff much easier. Now can I just place it? Blueprints, empty box, empty box extension. And if I want to snap it to the side, will it snap to the side? Doesn't want to. Oh, the, the walls overlap. That cannot be added from this side. Okay. I cannot add it from this side. On the sides, the walls will overlap. Unless I will have like a half floor added. doesn't attach itself there are those walls is it at oh that's outside of the borders oh, come on no not the defense event please don't I'm trying to build Xbox extension oh that Okay, that's colliding with other one. There is no walls, then it will attach itself. Or is it just outside of the borders? Ah, Why I choose such a small workshop for that? Will it attach if there is no walls? Is that in the frame? No? Why does it why it doesn't attach? I don't understand. Why can't it attach? What's the problem? Why cannot it attach? Mm. Do you know what's the problem with that? Why it cannot attach? Something's not working. Yeah, I know there are rad rats running around now, being attacked, but I don't know why my extension is not attaching. I want to have a modules that I can combine to build workshops. Modular workshops. That's what I wanted to do. I need a foundation, but I'm trying to attach it to the thing with foundation already. Okay, let's... Let's blueprint two floor pieces. Let's see if that will work. Override that for now. Okay, it does work. You see? Two floors can be attached. They work. So, what make it not work? I want that side extension. But there was a problem as I have those walls and maybe a room issue with my side extension. Is there are side walls that can get in conflict. So and I would need to build extension to be compatible with the fact they are those side walls. Yeah, probably what I should do. Extension to be compatible. Let let me try. See, I can I can add that. That's not a problem. Can use double floor. They do attach. Actually, harder to build double floor attaching to it than doing it one by one. Just an extension part. Uh, 
Okay. Resend. And so it will not be in conflict if I keep a proper space. So it will not be touching the other pieces. I keep a little bit of a gap. It's an extension factor. Keep a little bit of a gap. So it will it will be a working extension. Now add the floors. Come on. Floors line. Oh, what? I did wrong. Go away, rats. I need ally to protect my workshops. Turrets are useless. Okay. Okay. That should work. We'll see. Can work and cannot work. We don't know it. Let's try to place this wall. Okay, why is it so cro crooked? Crooked. It's not perfect alignment, but okay. How bad is it? Ah, oh, that's how I build it. So weird. It looks like it's going straight here, but other side is longer somehow. Oh, that's somehow bent over. That better? Can I straighten it now a little bit? Still not perfect. Okay, maybe it doesn't need to be perfect. It's close enough, I would say. Now, blueprint it. Probably can grow from this side. I will save myself a couple clicks. And then I don't want it to grow too much, so manually. This and this. Okay. Hope for the best. Extension box. And let's go to different workshop. Let's see if that can be added. Can I add it? Oh, Nerd in Paradise, thank you for your special message. Our member for 15 months. And Nerd in Paradise is saying, Angry Turtle, you have to check out the link Jules posted. He fixed the Ogwa. What? Let me see that. I need to... Fix the Ogwa? What? <laughs> you guys want to see it? Oh, lol. How do I put it full screen? Uh, imagine you dab. Okay, I will show you. <laughs> I will show you. Uh. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Agua fixed. Uh. Agua is fixed. <laughs> good one guys good one 
<laughs> it is hilarious, yes. I don't have a mat here? Why did I... S they blueprinted this one without the mat? Oh, there's no mat. How I did that? I'll be fixing those forever. Now, will my extension work? Box extension. Where is it? Okay. Got get closer. Should attach from the side. It doesn't want to. Okay, maybe it's just too big to cooperate. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. The smaller ones do attach. The big one doesn't want to. So the big one always needs to be put as a separate box, it's look like. Ah. So I just can place another empty box if I want extension. And that's it. You can just put it close. And that works. The other way doesn't. And then I can... Oh, those walls are too high. Then I can just <laughs> remove the walls in between. And I can jump over <laughs> from one to the other. <laughs> That's the solution. That's the solution. Oh, and I need to add a generator uh, to my stash box setup. I think it will fit. Generator and connector. Oh, chess is for you. Thank you a lot for donating 10 memberships. Thank you a lot, Chessus. And I welcome to Turtles Army. Car Carson. Wyatt R. Kasumi Kills. Sloth in MN. OO. Green Band. Brian McMillan. Kretzpo, Mac JW, John Linton. Welcome to Tertus Army and may the shell be with you. Thank you, Lot Chesses, for you. Thank you. Okay, let me try to fix it. Uh, generators. Generators. Can I attach this one? I think this one will be the best. Fit next to the tree or not? Can it fit? Like I wanted it directly behind the tree. Maybe I move the tree a little bit. No, not the foundation. The tree. And now the generator will fit. Turn it over. Okay. And it, I don't like how Bethesda made it that it doesn't work by itself. You still need to put a connector. Without attached connector, it will not work. So, which connector, which connector will attach to this box? No, not like that. Okay, there is better connector option. Oh, this connector maybe. I don't want it to float. Need support. Doesn't want to work. Okay, so different connector. Maybe this one. Or this one will obstruct in front. I want a small one, please. The standards are not nice looking. Okay, let's try again with this one. Oh. Okay. Is it for... Oh, it reaches. Okay. It reaches. So this is a nice radius. Now, do the blueprint again. Not the tree. It's the connector is not selected. How I... How can I select the connector? What am I selecting? Connect... Connector. And the cable. Is the cable auto-selected? Or do I need to select it? 
Oh, okay, it's select. Do I have it? Do I have it all? Uh, where is this tree box? Uh, three box. Let's change it to three power box. Three power box. Now let's see if that placed. Remove it. We use it from the blueprint. Three power box. Oh, it will. It will. Placed. And the milk has a power. And there is power available if I would like to drag it around. It work. Extension was not possible, but I can extend by doing what I did, uh, then other prefabs I would probably remove. I can put <laughs> water collectors. Okay, that works. I don't want the water here. This is no longer needed. How I delete it? Delete the bl blueprint. And that is what? Resource resource box doesn't work. Or does it work? No, it does work. This one does work. I fix it. Open workshop Santa. I don't need it. Or do I need it? No, I don't. Santa, Santa Fusion I can need. That's for other workshops. Quantum, no. Less blueprints. Empty box extension does not work. Empty box works. Resource box works. Then I can put power with stuff in the main one. And I can do this one like blueprint utilities and workbenches. Utilities and workbenches. Yeah, I was trying to modulate the blueprints. It's not fully successful yet. So I couldn't do extension. It doesn't snap. I just need to put from foundation all over next to each other and then remove walls to have extension if I want it. Now, the utility function will be some workbenches and other stuff. Let's see if I can fit it. They're relatively small ones. Uh oh. I can I can hear something flying around. Chemistry bench. How many? I cannot squeeze all, and I probably want weapons and armor workbench too. Being attacked pretty heavily now. Okay, that's that. Oh, come on. Stop flying. Everything is being destroyed. I'm building here. No. Go away. I cannot build in peace. I, do I need power armor? I mean, I probably want it. But there is not much room. Maybe on this side. I 
don't need a brewery. Probably I don't need it. Bed. Yeah, definitely need a bed. Have a bed and instrument. Like a bed. And where are the instruments? Oh, that's like a chair will be instrument. Chair. Which chair is instrument? Alien bench? No. Oh, there it is. There it is. So instrument. Then buffs. Buffs are miscellaneous. Some of them are. Okay, there be game. Definitely needed a derby game. And luck one. Where is the luck one? There is the luck one. Does require power. Does it give you luck without the power? I'm not sure. Derby game both requires power, but maybe they give buff without the power. Okay, let's see. Okay, no more scorch beast, but there was some destruction going on. Okay, this doesn't work without the power. So power needs to be included in this blueprint. Power. Generator. And we just attach power to the floor, I think. Those are both wall. The flat. Let's do the classic this time around. Oh, it can attach it to itself? Oh, it can attach it to itself. Come on, attach. Oh, awesome. <laughs> you can combine it to attach it to itself. And... Now, uh, the workbench test. If they too tight, they can sometimes not work. So I need to test if everything is working. Okay, enough room for that. Now this is working. I can use this workbench. It's working. This is working. Uh, this always works. This is working. This is working. And I already saw this being used. So that's good. The plant. Plant works. Okay, get me out. Hopefully I will not fall down. Okay. Didn't fall. Let it fall down, but I almost. Okay. Cuba. Works. Basic cam buffs, and this stuff works. I can always add more in the future. For now, if I blueprint it, will it work? Okay, let's go one by one. No, not select. Blueprint. Cable. Oh. Cable. Machines. Add it. Okay. Create blueprint utility. 
later I can add to it. Now let's test it. Oh, I exit. You don't need to exit. There is no build limit for those items, so I can test it by placing another box and see if that fits. Blueprints. Empty box. Let's put another empty box up. Okay. And where is my utility? That's the utility. And oh, I need to remember which way it went. Uh, this way. Oh, why it doesn't? Why it doesn't want to place? Oh, oh, it did. Okay, I needed to push farther. It did place. Got it. So I can have those empty boxes and add stuff inside as a separate blueprint and there is no problem placing when i try to blueprint it all together it never placed if i blueprint it separately like everything that should go on top of foundation it does place that's a magic of fallout magic of fallout for you if you blueprint separately it plays and you can have a huge blueprint. If you blueprint together, it will not work. Where is this scorch? Oh. So I think that's enough blueprinting for today. I have all type of blueprints. Now it works. Now it works. Oh, wow. I think that was worth it. I figure out the stuff. I have new workshop buildings. They look odd, I know. But they have camouflage. They look like Western countries. <laughs> have kind of protection. Finally, I cracked it. Followed size, exactly. Thank you, Nova Darling. <laughs> <laughs> Noted Paradise is saying that I proved his bottom rung. <laughs> Works. Works perfectly. I, I need to fix later this one blueprint that I have. Maybe I will fix it now before I leave the workshop that I did without the mat. Oh, the stuff is broken. How do you fix everything at once? Repair. Repair. Okay. The main one, that's the main one, will need to place... Oh, I remove one wall. Mm. So no, I will just blueprint and there is too much stuff on it. Where is the original? <laughs> Where did I create it original? Is it on this one? I need to blueprint from original. Or I will break it. Yeah. Quick workshop blueprints. So I can get workshop, place whatever I need in there. Usually free. For most part, quite often it is free. Oh, that's not. I already rebuilt that stuff. There is no original. Okay, I will fix it other day. I have no, I no longer have original to re reprint. Just a fast travel mat is missing that I need to fix. There was an event? Everyone's there. Maybe I missed an event. I was busy building, so that is possible. Oh, if I'm at it, how much water do I have? <laughs> how much water do I have? Empty? Oh. Okay, so they collect so slowly that most of them still empty. Regular water? Have some. Would take forever. That's just too many too many water extractors. And I build it in couple places, so that's way too many. Yeah, as they randomly fill up. 
So I have some water everywhere now. Some have two, some have one, some have nothing. So I built so many, so it's not good to build so many. Unless you plan to visit your workshop uh, once per 10 hours, then maybe that makes sense. Definitely don't build so many. So bet the modular idea did not work. With extra foundation, but it does work if I place it from the ground up, so it almost as I wanted. This doesn't exactly work if I do it other way around. Now let me grab some loot. Don't want to leave it behind. Assassin Sentinel is better than just Assassin, probably, but try to craft Assassin Sentinel. That's not worth it, to be honest. The size of the PvP in Fallout is not so big. Oh, what that sound? What was that sound? Who blow up my stuff? Someone blow up half of my stuff here. I don't know what has happened. <laughs> but not all of it. A lot of stuff still survived. What do I need rat stack meat for? Is there a good use case for rat stack meat? Oh, I'm being shot. All those angry bots. Leave me alone. So they managed to destroy something. No. Nope. They can shoot a little bit through this hole, but I'm not sure if it's possible to close it. Oh, it is possible to close it. Then, But then I will not be able to run up if I don't spawn up. Should I close the hole? Oh, yeah, that's when I made a mistake and didn't place the mat. Oh, the frogs. <laughs> Hello, frogs. That's a real frog road, you. Hello. Hello. Cleaning up the workshop. Oh, there is something. What am I running into? Now it's cleaned. No, one more. <coughs> oh, here was no power. So this one was without the power. Uh, <clears throat> need water. Oh, G Fuel would do it too. <laughs> so this one was without the power and I somehow blueprinted without... Yes, I will fix the blueprint. Miscellaneous. Mat. Mat goes here. Come on, on the middle. <clears throat> okay, good enough. Remove those. And fix the blueprint. Grow. I think now is everything selected? Where does it say it's selected or not? Is it selected? I think it is. Does it look selected? It does look, has this white outline. Or is it not? Oh, it wasn't, okay. Now it's white. 
and Matt is selected. Is selected. Okay. Resource box should be fixed now. Okay, it should be fixed now. And power is separately. All right. All the stuff fixed. Yeah, I know that PvP is quite broken. Maybe one day Bethesda will do something about it. I'm not sure. And now I think I did everything I wanted to do. Collected a little bit from those resource extractors. That wasn't the main goal. The main goal was to get those blueprints right. So then I can customize as I go and use whatever I need. I can place it way faster than looking for one item after another manually. Yeah, it's enough. Oh, uh, script. I probably still have some script on me. <laughs> Lol, hello, well, nerd in paradise. <laughs> Looking at people <laughs> sitting. Oh, okay. Good one, good one. Okay, that's scrap. Nothing else. Do I have any power armor with any pieces on it? Oh, there is something on it. Oh, good. I like the 500 script limit. Quite often I'm not even using 500. I'm losing like using like 400 a day. So that's a progress. Okay, now I'm done. Tomorrow I will probably just play on the public test server on Twitch. I need to be there more. As I finished scoreboard here, so I'm good. But public test server requires testing. <laughs> yeah, if I had got a Roomba. <laughs> oh, good one. Dog man's best friend for a reason, a living vacuum. I never heard that before. <laughs> I was pretty sure it was best friend for a different reasons, but okay, living vacuum. You welcome Kasumi Kills. Thank you for joining the live stream. Uh, PTS changes go live in June. Should be early June. Like first week of June, most likely. It's not confirmed there, so it can be at sooner or later. Can be end of May or later into the June, but it should be beginning of the June. So a month away. Okay, so that would be everything for today. Thank you a lot for all the likes and your chat conversations. I did enjoy those. And I will see you all tomorrow on Twitch and in videos here on YouTube. So stay tuned and have a good one. Tell it loud. Bye, everyone.